Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I've always told how to voice radio, so today I'm showing you another exciting new Pokemon GX card. It is Salazzle GX. Now, this is going to be coming out in the Japan Sun and Moon 2 Strengthening Expansion Pack, so it's going to be coming out in our Sun and Moon 3 set, the recently revealed Burning Shadows, for which I will have a video up rather shortly indeed. Now, Salazzle is a Stage 1 Fire Pokemon. Bit of a pain with a Stage 1, but it's not the end of the world. And let's not forget that we also have the Salazzle, which is the non-GX one. Now, this is the one that when you evolve, you get automatic burn and poison on the active. And remember the rule that Salazzle GX and Salazzle Regular are different Pokemon. So you could play four Salazzle GX and also one of the Salazzle non-GX and I like the ability of that one. And you could even play something like Devolution Spray. So you can evolve to get the ability. Devolve and then the next turn evolve straight up again. Remember after Devolution Spray you do have to wait a turn to evolve. Now in Expanded you've got Blacksmith being a fire Pokemon that you can use to attach two fire energy from your discard. However, you also have Volcanion and Turtonator. Link to Turtonator video in the description. And honestly they may well be better options. And the weakness to water here is far from ideal because Quad Lapras is very, very good. And I told you recently about the Alola Ninetales video, again, link in the description, which mean that playing a fire deck might become a little bit dodgy in the near future. However, don't forget that we have got Altar of the Sun. The upcoming Stadium card, which removes weakness from Fire Pokemon. So, it's not the end of the world, because we've got the Stadium that does allow you to get rid of that. Of course, if you want a Stadium for Fire Pokemon, you could also use Scorched Earth, which is useful for discarding and, you know, just drawing some extra cards. Now, the fire typing is pretty cool, stadiums aside, because you're hitting for weakness against things like Decidueye GX, like Lorantis GX. So even though you've got a bad weakness, you are hitting for a decent weakness as well. It is not all bad. Now, one of my favorite things about Salazzle GX is that all of the attacks cost two fire energy, which means that you don't have to add extra energy for the GX, etc. That's pretty nice. Now, Heat Blast does 110 for two fire energy. It's not bad. I mean, we're expecting kind of 110 to 130 for free energy. So being able to do 110 for two is pretty good. Now, if you're against something like a Decidueye, you will have to play a Professor Kakui to get the KO, or I shall only be doing 220. But this is a kind of attack we've been seeing for free energy. Having it for two is pretty nice. Now... The main attack we're going to be taking advantage of here is Wicked Claw. 50 damage for every prize card you've already taken. Now, clearly in the early game, this isn't very good. But in the mid to late game, this can be very nice. You've taken three prizes, stick a choice band on there to do an extra 30 to EX or GXs. You're now doing 180. Cool. Cool. Take four prizes, you're now doing 230. Play a Kukui and you're now actually doing 250. And you're getting one hit KOs against your 250 HP Stage 2 GXs. That's pretty gosh darn good. Now the problem is, that's a mid to late game attack. In the early game, all you've really got is two energy for 110, which is far from perfect. Now the GX attack here, I'm not a huge fan. Discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Now remember, GX attacks are one of any description per game. So not only can you only use this once per game, but if you use this, you can't use any other GX attacks. This isn't a bad attack by any stretch of the imagination. But you know what else gets rid of all the energy on the active? KOing them. I'm not in love with this. When I mean, you think we've got GXs like Solgaleos that really helps you to set up. Decidueyes that really helps you to recover. Here, it's just a bit... meh. I mean, there will be turns it's very, very useful. Especially if you can play like an Enhanced Hammer to get rid of the energy on the bench and then use this on the active. But really, I'd much prefer to slow my opponent down and... 
if you're only getting rid of the energy on the active, I'd rather just KO. Now, if you can't KO, then yeah, getting rid of the energy on the active might buy you a turn or two. There will be plenty of turns. This is a useful attack. I just don't think there will be enough of them. And certainly, I'm much more in love with something like Umbreon GX's GX attack, which allows you to discard the energy from anywhere you like and is also a stage one Pokemon. So, don't like it as much as Umbreon's. But we got a half, you know, we got, we got a fairly good attack, a really good attack in the mid to late game, and an occasionally useful GX attack. I'm going to go ahead and give Salazzle three Wossies. There is some potential here. The energy cost is quite low. It's only a stage one. The thing is, none of these really jump out at me as great. I think it could be good, but it there's nothing about this card that really jumps out as amazing other than the first attack near the end of the game which makes Slazzle really more of a, a tech than a deck in its own right but you could make a deck of it on its own and it might be okay now you know the deal make sure you've commented make sure you've liked make sure you've subscribed follow me on twitter at the wassy and of course the most important thing as always Look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been a watching PTCG Radio.